Hello, good evening, and welcome to the Full Force News Burst Live, brought to you by, by General Joe's Reborn.com, with me as your host, Christopher McLeod, aka Diagnostic 80. How is everyone doing? Bit of a busy day today. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so I had, um, hello everyone in the chat, uh, mm -hmm. Future Fortress, Derek Poster Trout. Hello everybody. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, got a lot to get through today. Lots of cool stuff to, to get into. So not only do we have um, some amazing name-only reveals from the good folks at Adventures in Collecting, uh, who did an interview with the Hasbro brand team, G.I. Joe brand team, um, but, I mean, loads of cool stuff in that interview, by the way. That was amazing. So uh, if you haven't checked that out, link in the description. Uh, you don't have to watch it. Not listen to it now. You can maybe listen to it afterwards if you haven't listened to it yet. Uh, you can watch this first. Um, or whatever you want to do, because this will be on replay. It's fine. You can watch this afterwards. Um, so we'll be talking a little bit, obviously, about those name-only reveals and a little bit about um, what uh, Emily, Lenny, and Tony was kind of giving up in that uh, interview, which is really good. So shout out to Eric and Dave at uh, Adventures in Collecting. Um, it's a really good episode, really awesome. So uh, thank you guys for um, pumping that out for us. Amazing stuff. And who'd have thought it? Who'd have thunk it? Even though one of them sounded a bit accidental, it was nice that we got a couple of cool name-only reveals. I know Blowtorch has been on everyone's lists recently. I know, uh, obviously, Road Pig was an unofficial leak. Um, a while back. So I've had to change the graphics tonight. That's why I'm a bit late coming on. I was going to get on really early. Uh, and unfortunately, I had loads of graphics to change uh, because of the updates. Uh, so we we can go into a little bit of detail with some of the uh, reveals today. One of them we know, one of them we don't. So we'll, uh, as in where they find where they find themselves on the list. So we can unlock one, sort of, um, and the other one we just unknown at the moment, uh, but we'll find out eventually. Of course, we always find out eventually. Um, and of course, we've got new listings for you guys. Not only have we got a couple of possible 2024 listings, um, well, updates to 2024 listings, but we have an absolute boatload of 2025 leaked listings as well to bring you. So uh, that'll be the last bit on the old uh, agenda. We don't have like it's just code words, unfortunately, this at this stage. But we do have a couple of them unlocked, but we'll get to that obviously later. Let's get stuck in to first off the uh, the adventures in collecting um, interview because that was amazing. Pow! Yes. So, uh, like I said, we've got quite a lot to get through uh, tonight. So we'll. Uh, We'll start moving at pace. Uh, and of course, starting off with that wonderful Adventures in Collecting interview, episode 133, Fallen Maggots, a G.I. Joe special with Emily, Lenny, and Tony. Um, like I said, amazing um, interview. It's uh, audio only, but you can go check it out. Like I said, link in the description to, I think, the Apple podcast link. But if you go to Adventures in Collecting on any of their multiple um, socials, uh, you'll be able to find... You know, or actually, just go. I always went to to Spotify, searched Adventures in Collecting, and I listened to it on Spotify, um, like while I was working today. So it was really, really good um, interview. If you haven't already listened to it, um, and of course, they go into like quite a lot of depth and detail with you know uh, the process for the Haslab for how um, certain things like logistics and things like that in terms of like. There were a few questions in there. Like there was a, there was a really interesting um, question about, you know, why don't some figures come with their iconic weapons when the iconic weapons are already in the line? And it was a pretty simple answer, but it's pretty straightforward at the end of the day. Logistics. If a certain, um, you know, weapon or tool is being utilised and hasn't finished being utilised and they want to release that figure and obviously that that tool is elsewhere being dealt with, then sometimes they have to just, you know, they sometimes they just have to go, well, that figure's not going to get that that weapon right now. But we that, you know, it's it's a logistical nightmare, as I've said in the in the past. And the other thing associated with that is that Lenny kind of said he looks at the overall classified series as one big thing. And if the weapon is in that lineup somewhere, it exists. You can give it to that person. You can give it to that figure. So I kind of, I'm kind of with him on that. Like it's definitely a bit more of a, you gotta get them all, 
Uh, or in some cases, you might have to get one figure that you might not have been planning on getting just to get the weapon. But who here is picking and choosing that specifically? I know some of you do. Um, but, you know, what, uh, is, is there other situations that crop up for you where you, your figure doesn't have a specific, um, you know, character not having their key weapon? There are a few. Um, do I have some good examples of character missing a key weapon? Airborne, I want to say. It, does Airborne miss his key character weapon? Uh, is kind of classic. Yeah, he does. But that you can kind of nick the old Crimson Guard, can't you? Can't you? Um, there's there's a couple of opportunities, I believe. Uh, there's a couple of situations that crop up, Mark, in that one. Thomas says, announce airtight, you thugs. <laughs> Are we going to get on to the next figure that hasn't been announced and just absolutely pummel them until it appears? Airtight's coming, Thomas. Come on. You've got to. It has. He has to. Come on. Um, you were right, Chris, when you blinked twice about Blowtorch. Stygian, I didn't even know Blowtorch was coming. That was one that snuck through. Um, I had no idea Blowtorch was coming at all. Like, from, from an, a semi-unofficial knowing is half the battle sort of way, I didn't know, honestly. Um, uh, I was disappointed in Falcon missing a head sculpt. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, I, I think definitely Airborne is one. Um, I can't think of the others though. I genuinely can't think. Maybe Shockwave. Shockwave is another one, right? Um, but anyway, by the by, if they'll get it out there, Kitty said. Um, right, so brilliant interview, loads of stuff covered. And yeah, that was just a few of the points. There was another thing about uh, like play sets that they're definitely can kind of trying to work out that or they have definitely had those conversations about um what is the best way to approach a classified playset uh so that's definitely being thought of at least um obviously they couldn't say a lot in that regard what were the other th there was there was a ton of things honestly there was a ton of really good stuff um but like i said the main stuff or the the main thing we're here to talk about obviously today is or are two reveals name onlys now, the first one they gave up was Blowtorch, but that was done semi-officially. <laughs> and then Rogue Pig just kind of stumbled out of Lenny's mouth and they accidentally revealed it, which was I thought was quite funny. Um, so, yeah, we get Blowtorch and Rogue Pig as the next name only reveals, um, which, again, is great that they're doing these on interviews. I'm hoping so much that when we have our interview, they do a name only reveal or five on my show. But who knows? They probably just go, sorry, we've... We've blurted out as much as we can um, right now, so we can't give any more away. And I'll be like, sigh. But I'm not going to complain. I get the chance to chat to them again, so that's great. Uh, we're looking to we're looking at this week on the interview, so fingers crossed that that, that happens this week. Uh, but Emily's been in in touch, so that's been great. Um, anyway, what else was I going to? Yeah, so brilliant. So blowtorch. Let's talk blowtorch first. Now, blowtorch is one figure. Like I said, we didn't know it was coming. We do not have a place for on the listings. So by that process of elimination, you can probably work out that Road Pig is the one that we know on the listings. Um, now, there's an element to Road Pig that we still can't discuss. or meant, Well, we can't reveal, but we can... We'll explain that when we get to the listings part, but let's talk Blowtorch first. This is definitely a figure that's been on the cards for a while in terms... Oh, sorry, that's been on a lot of people's lists for a while as a figure that they wanted. I've seen Blowtorch pop up a lot. Blowtorch and Snowjob Twin Pack. Oh, I don't know about that, Mark. The um, Snowtorch Twin Pack. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um, yeah, cool accessories for Blowtorch, definitely. Um, I think we we obviously we're going to get the flamethrower. We're going to get flame uh, effects, probably reused from torch. I'd imagine. Uh, so it doesn't surprise me that blowtorch is is finding his way hot on the heels of the torch pre order very recently. Kind of makes sense in terms of the again the logistical nightmare that is you know producing these figures when they um, when they have other things to share. Um, your official reveal will be an Iron Grenadier bat. <laughs> Snodrich, I would be so angry. 
Oh, uh, it's going to happen as well, isn't it? You know it's going to happen. You know it's going to happen, and I'll just be like, well, I, I, you know, I deserve it, honestly. So, fair enough. That would be funny as hell, though, wouldn't it? Um, uh, yeah, he discussed subtle changes with Blowtorch. He was talking about the uh, the kind of like like kind of like circular elements on his uh, design as well, wasn't he? I can't remember what he described them as, like. Um, Disc. I, he said something that made me laugh. Actually, is how he described them. Um, uh, Derek, I'm sure it's going to be the regular version. I don't think it will be uh, uh, Sonic Fighters. That'll be. I'd love a Sonic Fighters version of, eventually, though. Um, oh, Ice Cream Soldier was mentioned, wasn't it? Funnily, and I, as a joke, uh, Len and Emily was talking about Ice Cream Soldier again. I, I kind of, I, I have to take full of a, a full. Um, responsibility for the ice cream soldier joke because I was one that brought it up in the round table many moons ago, uh, and then we turned into a, an ice cream um, discussion on like what's our favorite ice cream. Um, but it seems to have stuck around the ice cream soldier joke, which is great. I, it, we're going to get an ice cream soldier at some point, uh, it's got to happen now, hasn't it? Lifeline, or we riot, absolutely. Um, I want to know where they changed Zar Zarana's iconic bladed rifle. I, well, Murphy Bree, they did it to upgrade it to make it make sense. Otherwise, she'd have had a weed whacker effect effectively, wouldn't she? Um, suction cups. That was it, Rachel. Yes. He was they would describe them as suction cups or something along something cups. Yes, definitely he did. Um let's hope there's some snow chat, snow cat chat on your show. Well, Blitz 0065. Or Blitz 0065, or Blitz 0065, or Blitz 006. I'll stop now. We will t have to talk about the Snowcat at some point because it's on one of the graphics, isn't it? Blowtorch always made me think of Centurions. Absolutely, Mark. Absolutely. Um, I could go for ice cream, preferably mint chop chip, please, and thank you. I love a bit of mint chop chip, Stygian. I do love a bit of mint, mint chop chip. Um, I like a little bit. I've also recently really enjoyed a bit of salted caramel cluster sort of vibe, or things like that. And I'm all, I've, I'm a huge fan of fish food, which is P H I S H, the uh, Ben and Jerry's flavor. Oh my word! And just for Alvega, shug it. Um, maybe they'll announce a barracuda with wetsuit. Maybe I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Uh, I knew we were brothers, Chris. I knew it. Uh, I know mint choc chip is amazing. I love it. Um, Blowtorch Torch was the first figure I had as a kid, says Suka. Yeah, so yeah, Blowtorch, big one. He's had like a lot of recent modern four inch re releases as well. Obviously, we had um, 25th, we had 50th, we had 250th, didn't we? We had that one that kind of did the, it was kind of like a, a reissue of the 25th, like just basically the same deco and everything, but like a bit brighter. And then we had the the kind of tan and green version. I wonder if we get a tan and green version of Blowtorch. I mean, he's obviously going to have a lot of unique tooling, so they're going to want to reuse it. And I imagine, well, at least secondary vibes. Um, but I could at least imagine them doing something again for that, you know, in that kind of tan and green color, and maybe put him in some sort of sub team with it. And then maybe you could be Night Force with it because that is a bit of a Night Force vibe, in my opinion. Um, because Night Force isn't is not all just black. People like have this preconception that Night Force is just black sometimes, but it's not. The vehicles are, yeah, but like the figures have all sorts of colours on them. And look at those, like, look at those cancelled Night Force figures that um, Dan Klingon Smith Jr. put in his book recently that have kind of been doing the rounds with Adam Rich's art. Like he did new artwork for the cards and everything, and they're all like like tan colours. It's ridiculous. Um, anyway. 25th, Pursuit of Cobra, 50th, 50th repaint. Thank you, Rachel. Yeah, there were a lot. I knew that. Um, yeah, seeing Blowtorch with a see-through mask will be stellar. Absolutely, Liquid Identity 101. I think they'll do that, definitely. Um, Hydro Viper with Pet Ray, the Ray. Definitely, Stygian. Oh, you know you know, I love that. You know I love Hydro Viper. You know that's got to come soon, definitely. Um James says, um, no joke, I think the Ice Cream Soldier design on the vintage card art looks pretty good. I do, I do as well. I think it's a wicked figure, actually. It gets a lot of it gets a lot of derision because of the name, I think. But you know, Ice Cream Soldier is like a it's like a Vietnam reference, isn't it? Basically. Um 
I was a bit surprised that Emily surprised the demand for blowtorch. Yeah, well, I, I, you know, I don't. As much as Emily's learned a lot being on the brand, but she's never, she never didn't go into it as a major fan of the brand. Like she didn't know everything about it. Um, so it doesn't surprise me that you know that was the case. But I see what you're saying. Like from a perspective of looking at what the fans are saying, blowtorch is definitely one that pops up a lot. So yeah, I kind of agree with you on that to a degree. Yeah, actually, I do agree with you on that. Um, they can actually do an outpost defender now. They do have those heavy machine guns, and the outpost defender is as small as the flight pod. It's the next best thing in having mini play sets, and they can do the Cobra Bunker too, says Robert. Oh, yeah, I think I think they're all on the cars, honestly, and they're probably being very cagey because they couldn't say anything, but you never know. We might get something in the future. Um, Blackstar would be a good one, Pastor Yeah, big time. Um, okay, right. Anyway. Blowtorch, Road Pig. Now, Road Pig is the other interesting one here. Now, what can we say about Road Pig? We can say a little bit more about Road Pig because we do know what he's going to be in the listings. So I think we'll move on to that now, right? Well, first off, I've changed graphics. So thanks to the Adventures in Collecting crew, I've updated our name only reveals officials now to uh, add Blowtorch and Road Pig to the lists. And um, it just, yeah, it just made it awkward for me to get it, get this episode up in time uh, or in good time. So that's the new name only reveals official kind of standpoint. Uh, and it just adds two more videos I have to do. And I've only just al almost finished the graphics for Saw Viper. Let's talk classified Saw, Saw Viper. So I thought I had some time and now I don't. Now I've got to do more videos. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't know. It just fills the week up a bit, doesn't it? It just means I've got to do this every single night for the rest of my life. Um, but yes, now Blowtorch and Road Pig are added to the name only reveals, which is great. And like I said, Saw Viper's next up. Then we'll get onto Dial Tone. Then we'll do Frag Viper. Then we'll do Blowtorch. And then we'll do Road Pig. My goodness. Um, I love that. Yeah, I love that Lenny kind of like stumbled it out like he thought he was initially right that they'd uh they'd released it rachel i know that they'd I, yeah we've done road pig right and it's like no <laughs> we haven't um but it's it's interesting because i think there might be some confusion because i'm always doing these episodes and when we've got unofficial leaks as well haven't we and on those unofficial leaks road pig's on there not anymore he's moved up so that's like if you remember throw your cast your minds back to um, a moment where T1 Toys revealed that Nemesis Immortal, Starduster, Road Pig, and Heartwrencher were going to be figures for joining the Classified series, and then redacted that, went back on that a little bit, saying that it was just a list of, of figures that he wanted. And lo and behold, they all get revealed officially. There's a surprise, eh? So I think we can expect Heartwrencher, is what I'm saying as well. Um, Road Pig has been the worst kept secret. He has 100%. I mean, it, there's been loads of worst kept secrets in the uh, classified series. Um, anyway, let's let's move through this stuff because uh, we we know it already. We know the digital renders we're working with at the moment. I would have added Night Force um, Shockwave, but there's no point. He's already got been. He's he's gone beyond that now. Um, but anyway, yeah, and they did mention, oh yeah, they did mention that the Dragonfly was going to get an update very soon. Yay! So that's great. And that's really just because Emily's been under the uh, under the cosh with uh, Ghostbusters and stuff that she's had to do. So uh, we will be getting a Dragonfly update, and I imagine um, the action figures uh, of Night Force, Ripcord, Glenda, and Crazy Legs will um, soon be uh, revealed. Um what right yeah sorry i'm just trying to catch up with the uh, comments um just want to double check i haven't missed loads i have missed loads somehow i don't know how that happened um i love that lenny said his persona would have a giant sledgehammer after slipping up with row pig obviously toll booth is coming <laughs> Yeah, totally, Pastor Pierogi. Um Can't wait for 20 Blowtorch variants like with the modern era. I know there were so many. But I think we, we get away with just the red and yellow. Obviously, I think that'll be the first one they do. And then the tan and green. Done. Done and dusted. Covered in mustard and green. Um, good evening, everyone. Joe talked with the best hosts. Chris, did anyone catch maybe a hint at a Sky Striker mold? 
two foot Mark P five eight seven. What for? Like classified? Uh, or do you mean for the uh, f like? I, I yeah. You'll have to you'll have to clarify on that one, Mark P. Um, Lenny, light reveal. Rest of team. <laughs> Could you ask them if the snowcat is small enough for retail and if Joe has... Well, Crimson Vader, we kind of already assume that the snowcat and the thunder machine are coming as vehicles in the line. It, again, worst kept secret in the Joe situation. So they're not going to be Haslabs, basically. Um, I will try and ask them as many questions that I can possibly ask them, but they can't give us specific answers on a lot of things, can they? So you kind of have to... You kind of have to ask specific questions. You can't ask. So, the ro the snow cat that's unofficially announced is that too small? Like they're just going to be like, we can't talk about that stuff. Um, I mean, he might be able to talk about certain vehicles, but you know how it is. They can't give away certain things now. Now that other things are sort of unofficially leaked. Um, Road pig should come with a pigskin hood and cape like the snow serpents had with the wolf cloaks. That would be kind of cool, actually, Ryan. Um, is anyone else underwhelmed in general with the retro figure differences? They seem so slight in some cases. It's like, why? Well, there's a balance they're doing, isn't it? That you've got like some that are just completely new figures, like Beachhead, Duke, Scarlet, and the other ones are re like, you know, done to kind of redeco the snow serpent and uh, the eel to reissue it in a way that makes sense so that people can get more eels. So in some cases, they're completely brand new. And in other cases, they're, you know, they're just like a, a reissue kind of thing. So it's a balance, I think. Uh, they better do the Rattler next. Omega Prime took the Hiss title as the best non-Galactus Haslab. I think the Rattler is on, seems to be on everyone's, seems to be everyone's kind of, what, what everyone's expecting at least. Um, uh, will TNT now be part of the Dragonfly Fire team? Dragonfly Fire team. That's genius, Rachel. That is genius, and a deep cut as well with TNT being a heavy uh, blowtorch uh, reusage. What is the other? Uh, well, there's a Canadian. No, no, no. I tell a lie. It is a Plasterama backstop, isn't it? Argentinian backstop is kind of like a bit of a mishmash of um, I'm, blowtorch is in there at least. But um, I'm pretty sure that was uh, another re a use of Blowtorch. Uh, what about just regular Ripcord? Well, yeah, he'll outland. Regular Ripcord is obviously going to be coming out at some point, and probably in 2025, which we'll get to in a little bit later when we'll talk about what we can kind of expect in the future. And again, we can probably expect Crazy Legs in his regular. I mean, the, yeah, they're going to happen, aren't they? Um, um do 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 that that's it argentina argentina backstop ryan yes thank you yeah plasterama backstop um that's what i was getting at thank you ryan costello um snow cat and iceberg yeah that'd be pretty cool they were talking sky striker moles because of the um previous has lab the uh the the previous has lab prior to the his tank that's why they were discussing. That's why that was in the same kind of conversation. Um, more name only rooms. Yeah, cool. Sorry, I've missed a lot of comments. I'll get to if you if you, if there's a major comment you want me to read, just do it again. <laughs> just write it again, and I'll you know see if I catch it this time. Anyway, unofficial leaks. So that's changed a bit and made it a very, un, like a wonky visual. I probably should have put the Sarge next to the Snowcat, but you know how it is. But then you see the Marauders 2 pack is kind of together, so there wouldn't be a space between them. So it's all it's all a mess of graphic terribleness. Anyway, uh, Road Pig is now off there. But like I said before, Heart Wrencher is pretty much odds on now. So I think we can count, uh, you know, uh, count her to be one in the upcoming department. Um, Thunder Machine and Snowcat is on here as well as we've been talking about it in the um, in the chat. Um, possible that some leaks, rumours are now on hold or cancelled due to the inside turmoil of Hasbro, including more layoffs later this month. Well, yeah, uh, okay, but we'll get to, we'll get in a second. We'll get to the what we're going to reveal, and I'm pretty sure it's on odds on at the moment. 
uh, that we're going to get all of that stuff. But I mean, no matter what's going on there with Hasbro in an inner turmoil, um, I would imagine that it, the classified series still continues as is. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but um, yeah, I oh, will see. We'll see how that 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 pans out. Um, retro Falcon, new face, please. Yeah, we could do with a, a new retro. We could do with a new Falcon head sculpt, couldn't we? And that could come in many forms, and we'll see uh, if any of those are possible in the future. Anyway, right, let's get on to Leak Listings 2024. Now, this is the, the list that you guys saw last time. There have been some changes, just a few. We've got an additional listing. We've got an update to another listing, and we've got an unlock, okay? Are we ready? Are you guys ready for the unlocks for this 2024 page? We do have another page to come. Do not worry. It's another, it's a 2025 page. It's got its own page. There's that many blooming new listings to get through. Are we ready? Okay, here we go. Boom. There you go. Now, you may see at the bottom of the left hand of your screen, it says Highway Pet Road Pig. Yes, we can confirm that Road Pig is going to be a figure and pet. We can't reveal the pet yet. <laughs> I know, you get you get one, but that's as much as we can do. So at least we can say that Road Pig's going to be coming with a pet. We can't obviously say what that is. So there's a question mark next to him. Um, obviously, the you know the the question mark is going to be the name of the of, the, of whatever it, not the name the whatever it is. I'll put in there eventually. Um, but we yeah we can't reveal that. So highway pet is road pig. So G zero four three five that will be road pig. Okay, so that's unlocked because it's an official name only reveal. So plop plop that in there. Um, and of course, it just unlocks that idea of what that is. Now, if you go over to the right hand side of the page and go about, go down to like, well, you'll see it. It says Sal Pet, currently unknown code word and an unknown figure and pet edition. Okay. So there's another figure and pet to come. Now, I've put it in 2024 because we, because at the moment, we don't know where it's landing. And this is one that I think has been in the on the cards for a long period of time. So it's possible that it'll be 20, late 2024. It's also possible that we'll be updating next week or month or whatever and saying, actually, this is the number and it's coming in 2025. But we don't know yet is the answer to that, okay? So I've added it here because it fit in nicely and filled that little gap. Uh, that little gap there, let's see. Now, the other thing that you might have noticed that has changed on there is HB Blossom VEH above it. It has A or F question mark. Now, the A or F relates to Amazon or Fanmazon. So it turns out <clears throat> that HB, as we've said in the past, denotes a Target or Walmart exclusive, but we didn't also realize it denoted Amazon or Fanmazon. Um, so we don't know if it's Amazon completely or if it's a Fanmazon exclusive, but that is what HB Blossom VEH is or vehicle is. <clears throat> so that's a nice bit of additional information to help that speculation train move a little bit. Uh, and I have to also add, we don't know what it is. Um, we've got a few guesses, but we can't go into, but we don't know what HB Blossom VEH is yet. And the fact we know it's either Amazon or Fanmazon, it's probably very likely Amazon exclusive because that's what, you know, it's Target or Walmart uh, usually. So it's likely that HB just means just means uh, exclusive for Target, Walmart or Amazon. OK, OK. Sal Pet was obviously the other uh, edition on that list. And I think everything else is pretty much the same. So there you go. We can update 2024. Now, <laughs> whew. 2025. Yeah. Are you ready for this? Are you genuinely ready for this? There's a lot of leaked listings about to hit your face. A lot of them. Now, before we get into it, actually, I will preface by saying two of them have been unlocked. We know what two of them are. So you'll see when it, when it comes over, two of them are unlocked. They're standard retail releases. We've got a lot of standard retail releases to look at. 
And then we've got a lot of kind of exclusives and miscellaneous and a lot of retro. Are you guys... Now, like I said, only two of them have been unlocked. The rest of them are just unknown. They're just code words and numbers at this at this stage. Okay, here we go. Bosh. It's a lot of red, I know, but let's go through it and we'll start with the new designations. Yes, we have new designations. So SS obviously denotes Simpsons. I think that's pretty obvious. Um, but also denotes that they are the standard retail uh, designation, okay? So standard retail waves of four, and they're down the left-hand side right there. So you've got Xandar and Leatherneck. Yep, we've unlocked those two. They're going to be standard retail um, figures, and they'll be in that first wave of four. Um, and, of course, their, their code words are Homer and Marge, and, of course, you've also got Maggie and Lisa in there as well. So there you go. There's two at least that we've unlocked. And then the rest is just an absolute cacophony of misunderstandings. Now, as you can see, I've gone like numerical order with the uh, standard retail waves of four, the SS um, designations or Simpsons designations. Uh, we've got Grandpa, Bart, Smithers, Flanders, Chief Wiggum, Apu, Krusty, Sideshow Bob, Martin, Nelson, Mo, Mr. Burns. And of course, all the numbers go in order 1069, 1070, 1071, 1072, etc., etc., etc. Okay. So that are your they're your standard retail waves of four. That's pretty much all you need to kind of say at the moment. Um, could Blowtorch fit into one of those? Almost certainly. Uh, almost certainly. Maybe Blowtorch is one of the first four. Maybe it's Xander, Blowtorch, Leatherneck, and someone else. There's a possibility that could be the case. Um, uh, you say no vehicles. <laughs> There's nothing to say that. Um, we'll move over to the right-hand side now in exclusives and miscellaneous. Um, now, there's no VEH designation. It doesn't mean there's no vehicles, Crimson Vader. Um, it just means that we don't know what they mean yet. Road Pig, we've already done. We've already done Road Pig, Hip Hop Radio, Tags Media TV. He's on the previous list. If you weren't paying attention, Road Pig is Highway Pet. And he comes with a, with an animal, but we can't say what it is. So there you go. Um, right, coming back to exclusives and miscellaneous. Now, we don't know what these denote. We just don't. We know that some of them are probably exclusives. We know some of them are going to be deluxes. We know some of them are going to be something else. But we just don't know what they are. Um, now, BB Daria Deluxe, BB Salvador, not a clue. BB, don't know yet. But we will, as soon as we find out, we'll let you know. Um, or we will, actually, because as soon as we find out the designation, we 100% will try and work this out. Uh, yeah, so no VEH designation, but it doesn't mean no vehicles. Let me just get that very, very clear for everybody. Um, it does not mean that. Uh, Salvador could be a vehicle. Um, SP Philip could be a vehicle. GG Hudson could be a vehicle. Now we know that um, we we don't again. Like I said, SP and GG are standalone. Legacies are standalone as well. We have really we have actually revealed a few of these before. Uh, so we had Daria. We had what did we have before? Daria, Legacy, Tommy, RR Tommy, and we had Pinky Brain and Elmira from Retro. Um, of course, lots of retro. Three waves of three figures, and they've said that as far. They've said that anyway in the past. So this doesn't really give us much other than internal code word listings, really, and numbers. That's all it gives us. Um, but yeah, Pinky Brain and Elmira um, were the ones that we had for you last time. And uh, Pinky Brain and Elmira have been joined by Good Feathers, Buttons, Mindy, Scratch and Sniff, Hello Nurse, and Ralph T., I think all related to Animaniacs or what have you, um, I guess. I haven't really, I, I guess. Uh, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Um, they all, they're all retro releases, so we know what they are. Um, TT, on the other hand, if we go back up to the top, we definitely know means the tick, and that's what Sewer Urchin, Terror, American Maid, Arthur, Deluxe, Man Cow, Red Scare, we know they're the tick uh, references, but we don't obviously know what it denotes. It could be. I mean, there's six of them. Could it be two, three waves of two for 60th? We don't know. Could legacy mean 60th? Could that be the new term terminology for 60th? It could be. We don't know. Could TT just mean Target and Walmart again? Uh, could SP mean something? We don't know. We just haven't got a clue. We're just, here are the leaked listings, effectively, at the end of the day. 
speculation can go nuts if you know what if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, there was a couple of deluxes in there, um, and uh, again, this isn't all of the listings. I should say uh, this isn't everything, but it probably is everything for the standard uh, retail waves, and probably is everything for retro. But it's probably not everything for all the other stuff up in exclusives and miscellaneous. I mean, SP could be SDCC, GG could be PulseCon. Um, you know, they that could be a reason why they're on their own with their own little designations. Uh, legacy could be something special. We don't know. We just don't know. It's so difficult to deal with this and talk about it, isn't it? Um, who is the sexiest Joe? That's Flanders. Stupid, sexy Flanders. Thank you, Ryan. Um, Hello, nurse equals lifeline, says Justin. <laughs> Amazing. Um, blow, jo blow torch. Wow. Nearly said it. Blow torch. <laughs> Please, someone clip that up. That's amazing. Blowtorch should have been pork chop sandwiches. I almost said blow chop is what I almost said, but it did sound like something else. It did 100% sound like something else. And uh, I nearly said it, which is hilarious. Thank you, Figure Six Pack, for making me almost trip over onto a naughty term. Uh, this is a family show, guys, Kitty said. Um... They should release a cops line and their code words should just be G.I. Joe names. That's funny, Pastor Pierogi. Uh, have they not mentioned Thrasher? That could be a good sign for the Thunder Machine. Yeah, Bryce, we haven't had Thrasher as a name yet, but we have had a uh, an unofficial leak of the Thunder Machine. So I wonder if I you know, I wonder if Thrasher would be involved in that. I would imagine so. Um were there any designated for WonderCon or SDCC? So yeah, uh, WonderCon, I don't think they're going to have a an exclusive there, but SDCC, obviously they do. I don't think WonderCon, they'll have an exclusive, but they'll definitely reveal stuff and they'll probably have pre-orders go up soon afterwards because we know that that April the 4th pre-order block from Entertainment Earth's drop zone. So we can kind of gauge that something will be revealed pre-order-wise uh, over WonderCon as well. Um, do 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 do. Elmira has to be Dr. Link Talbot. <laughs> uh, I don't know, steps. I don't know. Um, I don't think uh, Blowjaw, newest recruit. <laughs> Amazing. Um, Snow Torch is my favorite crossover, definitely. With that, uh, Blowtorch should come with a pork chop sandwich. I agree. Um, anyway. Um, that is your leak listings for 2025 so far. It's a lot of stuff in it, but all, and all we can really gauge at the moment is we know what the standard retail waves listings are, and we know what the retro classified listings are. We know that two of the re the retail uh, waves figures uh, for the first wave are Xandar and Leatherneck. We know that they're Homer and Marge, and that's pretty much it. Everything else is just. <laughs> Um, so anyway, they uh, leak listings that were sent to us a couple like a while back, uh, but you know they're going to be out. So there you go, they're out now. They're out now. Man cow is the tick. Amazing. Um, I, I mean, I'm very obviously. I mean, there's so much to you know unwrap, unravel here. So many things to unlock, um, and I think like this list. As well, we've still got so much to unlock. We know some of it, we don't, and some of it we don't know is the answer to that. So all the stuff in red, we, you know, I think so. Let's bam bam. We know we can't say scrappy. We don't have a clue, but could be based on it being a pulse exclusive. Could be that low light spirit two pack, which I did mention a little while ago as a possibility, uh, but we don't know. So it's all speculate speculative there. Fred Deluxe. We don't know. Not a clue. Whip Snakes 2-pack. We have our guesses. Like, I still think Whip Snakes 2-pack is going to be a, um, a Royal Guard 2-pack. If it does turn out to be that, brilliant. But if not, am I going to be disappointed? Probably. Because of the whole Whip Snakes Atlas connection, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, Nemesis Immortal is Atlas Deluxe. He has the number G0335. Whip Snakes 2 pack is a troop builder 2 pack with the number G0336. They follow each other. Whip Snakes and Atlas are professional lacrosse team names, which means that there's a thematic connection. Nemesis Immortal is Cobra La, 
Royal Guards of the Troop Builders. I'm just saying, it's, it feels like it just is too obvious. And they don't usually do obvious with these listings, so who knows? But I'm going to say it. That's my that's my theoretical thought process when it comes to Whip Snakes and Atlas. I think Whip Snakes two pack, knowing that it's a troop builder two pack specifically, not a character two pack. It's a troop builder two pack. We that we do know that. Um, then that's where my brain goes. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. We don't. We Yogi. We know what Yogi is. We can't say Zorak. We know. We can't say. Blossom VEH, we have no, we don't know. We have ideas, but we can't say. Sal Pet, we know and can't say. Uh, Oki and Azrael, not a clue. So it's a it's a mixed bag. It's a mixed bag on that one. And again, if we can squeeze a few more name only reveals out, then we can probably unlock a few more of these uh, listings as well. Um, Chris, are, are there still more than this coming this year? It's a lot and I'm loving it. I don't know is the answer. I genuinely don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if this is everything for 2024 now, but I also would be—I wouldn't be surprised if they, there's a bunch more that they're going to squeeze in. I, I mean, we've got the what the 60th Action Marine and Action Pilot, right? I could expect—I I expect more 60th reveals for 2024. So yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if a few more sneak out there. I that is effectively it for retro um, because we've had the first three, um, or is it? What have we had so far? Yeah, Snow Serpent Cobriel's Beachhead. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we had Duke, Scarlet, and um, Ricondo, uh, Snow Serpent Cobriel's Beachhead, and then the last three would be Cobra Commander, whoever Oki is, and whoever Azrael is. So that makes that's everything for retro. You can you can count you can check off retro for 2024. Okay. That's all the listings we're going to get for retro in 2024. Mainly because we've got 2025 listings for retro as well. So that's check. For um standard four inch, sorry, standard four figure waves, Alpine, Iron Grenadier Bat, Iron Grenadiers, and an another. Um that is another wave that will be probably revealed. It's probably over Yojo June, I'd imagine. And then maybe one more wave of four before the end of the year. I don't know. Is that too much? What have we had so far? We've had two waves already, right? No, we haven't. Um, we've had one wave so far. And then another. What have we had this year? It's just the one wave, isn't it? The reveals. Yeah, it was February. So... This will be the, the second, so that that first wave, yeah, Night Creeper, Dreadnought Torch, Jinx, Doc, right? That's a four-figure wave. Alpine, Iron Grenadier, Bat, Iron Grenadiers, and another, that's the next four-figure wave. So there's probably definitely another four-figure wave before the end of 2024, almost certainly, almost certainly. So, yeah, that, so that's something that we can look forward to. I think there are another four figures for 2024, that aren't on this on these listings. Then you go into like some of the exclusives and stuff. I think we've got most of the majority of the exclusives sorted out now. SDCC, PulseCon, and then of course your um, Walmart's and your Targets and your and your Amazon or Fanmazon. Um, so I think I would I would probably say you probably got maybe four more fi like four more f standard retail figures to be found or revealed and then uh maybe maybe a smattering of other I'd, I'd, and then 60th yeah and then maybe another wave of 60th i don't know is the answer but at the same time my, my best guess is probably that okay um right then also like i said sal pet could be 2025 and as somebody as 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 i have kind of you know had discussions in uh with this kind of stuff Sal Pet could also be Salvador um, up there. Can you see the Salvador one on the right? So there's a possibility that Sal Pet could be Salvador Pet, but we'll—I don't know. We don't know. That's a, that was a bit of a guess as well, anyway. But we'll we'll figure it out eventually. But it's fun to it's fun to speculate. I think uh, anyway. Right. Whew, my goodness. Lots and lots of stuff um, that we've gone through today. And there, one more time. Are the new leak listings for 2025 with a couple of unlocked 
figures in Xandar and Leatherneck. Um, yeah, crazy pants, isn't it? Absolutely crazy pants. Um, and also, one more time, let's shout out. Boop, 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 boop. Let's shout out Adventures in Collecting for uh, their awesome um, interview with Emily, Lenny, and Tony, and of course the the, the reveals of uh, a Blowtorch and Road Pig for the Classified series. Um, hope I've been able to fill some things in there as well. Kitty said, um, "Let's let's transition uh, into the kind of like just my face because <laughs> I'm fed up of looking at those listings." Uh, oh no! Actually, no. Let's just bring it to a close with this on, and what, I'll answer a few more questions if there are any coming in, and then we'll bring it to a close. How does that sound? Yeah. Suka says, "I hope the stinger is hiding amongst those." You know what could be? I mean, the stinger could be hiding amongst these. I, you know, possibly, because I feel like the stinger is almost like odds on. Do you know what I mean? I feel like it's like an odds on thing to happen. Uh, better start saving money now, says Derek. Indeed or maybe five years ago to cover all this. Um, Night Creeper waved you out August. Alpine waved you out October. Yeah, so... Oh, maybe maybe that could line up then. Maybe there isn't another four-figure wave. Maybe the start... Maybe the Xandar Leatherneck wave gets revealed at the end of the year for release, you know, into 2025. Maybe that's a poss Maybe that's possibly what's going on here. That could be what it is, Flaffle. Uh, Mike says, just settled in after work and tuned in to hear Blowtorch was revealed. Let's go. He's one of my most wanted, along with Flash. So pumped. That's great. That's awesome. Uh, Jeremy wants more Night Force, please. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Nothing. Um, uh, Pa says, I need a wildly dope Globulus. Maybe it, maybe they'll do a retro Mindbender and Serpentor to get them to people who missed out. Um, yeah, I'm, I still can't believe there were so many issues for so many people getting those Mindbender and Serpentor figures. Um, I wonder if they'll do more Night Force like 788 with the Dragonfly. Oh, yeah, that's a good... I mean, almost, yeah, because, I mean, Walmart have got it, haven't they, Flaffle? So you're going to get more Night Force kind of reveals, definitely, minimum. Um, I wonder if they're going to do, like, you know, like connectivity like Starduster, I think, might be connected some way to the Dragonfly. I could see them coming with like some sort of significant Dragonfly combination thing. Um, I like more Night Force 2. A Night Force Ferret would be sick. It really would actually reel them. Uh, Red Scare, October Guard character. Uh, well, not technically. I mean, I mean, I don't know. It could be, could not, probably not. They're probably not going to do October Guard. But in terms of the names, they're never connected. Don't even don't you worry about that. There's never there's very rarely any connection to them. Where's the purple techno viper in the listing? Been and gone, Grey Jedi 22. That was ages ago. Um, that was two leaked listings ago. Uh, but yeah, quick kick, big boa, techno viper, and airborne. Um, we've got, I mean, you can probably go back and have a look at some of the leaked listing graphics we did um on like the Facebook page or Twitter. Uh, but yeah, they it's kind of like a bin and gone scenario now. Um, hello, Chris. Just dropped by. Hello. How you doing? Um, thanks, Chris, for the news and updates. Thank you, Crimson Vader, for the com comments and the chat and everything. <laughs> Stygian says, Chris, cough knowingly for Lifeline reveal soon. <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, I expect Lifeline. Just I don't know if there's a there's not a nod, nod, wink, wink, unfortunately, with it. But I just expect him to be he's a major character. Great to see the yearly list aren't shrinking yet. Someday that will. Someday they will. Enjoy the madness while it lasts. In indeed, Jedi Dan. Indeed. Um, Techno Viper is shipping this month. He really is, actually, yeah. Uh, 788 Fire Team Ferret with Scout, please, and thanks. That's pretty dope, actually, 80s Toy Boy. Although, yeah. I, well, you know, actually, that's pretty cool. I quite like that. I quite like the sound of that. Um, the exclusive team with the Dragonfly needs to be Dragon Force <laughs> or Dragon Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z Force. <laughs> um, Metalhead shipping this week as well. I know it's crazy, isn't it? Uh, three pack Night Force at the end of year prediction. Uh, that's that'll be a fun one. Chris needs to interview the Hasbro team and get some exclusive full force reveals. You know what, Mike? I'd love that, but I've got a feeling they've probably. I have a feeling they've probably like you know 
done all of their reveals, unfortunately, because it, I mean, it's going to be so close to the um, Adventures in Collecting uh, interview. I don't know if they'd have anything that they could reveal, uh, which is kind of a bit sad. It makes me feel a bit sad, but we'll see. We'll see if they, they might have won. That would be kind of, I'd, I'd be, you know, even if they did confirm the IG VAT, which would be a, an absolute, it would be deserved on my end, honestly. It would be very much deserved kick in the nuts. Um, more likely that classified Ripcord is mainline, retro, or deluxe with shoot. Uh, it's probably more likely that Ripcord will come out in the mainline um, and as one of those on the left-hand side of the leak listings. I-, I could probably see that. But you never know. If They were talking about parachutes not long ago. So, you know, hinting at parachutes at one point. So I don't know, maybe. Techno Viper is in Canada. I have one. Damn you, billionaire. That sounds, that's well, no, actually, congratulations. Good work. That's good stuff. Um, yeah, they're going to reveal that one, Ryan. No doubt. Uh, one of the listings may be the next HasLab. I don't think so. Um, I don't think so, but mainly because... We don't usually we like okay. So precedent wise, we've always got the listing for the Haslab after it's been revealed. They don't usually have it like just for the way that things work with line plans and what have you. That is that we don't see that until after it's been revealed. Um, I think it was Whitman for the His Tank, and it was Jabberjaw for the Dragonfly. And again, they've both arrived at exactly the same point after the fact. So I think. I think we'll probably have. Uh, I don't think we'll probably have. I don't think we're probably looking at it um, for. A, a, we're not looking at a Haslab, and I don't think. But then again, precedents are there to be broken. That's not a comment. That's not a, a famous phrase. Um, but you know, they don't. Or it doesn't. You know, there's, there's always a uh, first time for everything. So we could be. So even though I'm saying I don't think so, it could be. Um, Chris, don't forget, more figure reveals for you on the 30th WonderCon. Yes, that's true, actually. I'm going to have to really get a move on uh, because that's only 11, 12 days away. 11 days away, basically. What, 19th tomorrow? These are retail codes. Uh, I believe, yeah, I mean, they're the codes that always leak out. Do you suppose they might add the rest of Argent 7 to a company, Glenda? Uh, they were made from the original 13 molds. I wouldn't, again, be surprised to, uh, you know, if we see those kind of like cheeky re- like releases as and when they they make sense. Uh, didn't they say that they are from more sub team members this year? Oh, on in the interview, they know. I think Tony said he wanted to see more sub team members, to, and he he meant he kind of said it's a good way, obviously, to fill out. The sub teams too, because you know that. Yeah, but I don't know if any. I don't know if he meant more were coming, but I think probably about the same amount of them will probably be coming. I'm not sure. I'll have to remember. I can't remember exactly what he said, but I'm sure Tony did mention something about sub teams, and I'm sure he said something along the lines of, "It's it's good when we can fill out those teams." Um, Seth says, "You know what is a famous line? Enhance the shelf, not eat the shelf." True. Um, anyway, peeps, I'm going to bring it to a close there. Um, thank you so much for joining me for tonight's episode. It's a lot of information, I know. We'll probably pop the graphics up later on, uh, either tomorrow or later on tonight, uh, just to kind of like, you know, back up the episode. Um, probably tomorrow, actually, at, my, at the rate of play that I'm uh, of burnout that I'm suffering at the moment. <laughs> um, but we will have. Um, obviously, what have we got coming? Loads, loads coming. Do we know when the next Target Geek Out is yet? Tar- summer, summer Geek Out, I believe. Uh, so it'll probably be around the Yojo June kind of scenario. But obviously, we've got WonderCon coming. <sighs> oh my god, it's never ending! It's never ending. We'll try and, you know, we'll hopefully we'll be able to unlock a few more of these uh, listings over over time. Uh, and hopefully this listing that we're looking at now will look like this one soon. Um, anyway, thank you very much for joining me, guys. It's been a pleasure. Like I said, the graphics will go up later and you guys can, you know, kind of add to your spreadsheets or what have you. Um, we've got, like I said, we've got Let's Talk Classified Saw Viper coming probably soon. I was going to do a Ripper unboxing, but I'm not sure if I'm going to get an opportunity to do that with all the with the amount of news that's kind of 
pouring out. So what I might do is probably put unboxings out of the off the take off the plate, honestly, because uh, you know we, I'd, I'd rather be able to do the unboxings really like detailed wise with another camera on you know like in this kind of uh kind of situation where there's a little image of me but then a much bigger image of the of the actual you know uh figure so i, could, I might look to do that a little bit more professionally going forward and with that they're probably just going to go on hold and i'll probably just open ripper and enjoy him as is um but there's so much more to come um like i said so many let's talk classified videos loads of news coming loads more reveals i imagine loads more unlocks of these listings oh it is absolutely blooming mental anyway i'm gonna go eat some food at 8, 8, 8 p.m in the evening goodness me i'll see you guys probably very soon for whatever blooming reason um stay fresh cheese bags and as always you know what to do after three one two three full force and sleep that's it for this installment of the full force news burst make sure to like comment and subscribe see you next time and as always full force make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on x formerly twitter at the full force liking the facebook page facebook.com forward slash the full force we've also added a brand new instagram so check us out there as well at the full force podcast and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on any of those platforms with feedback and questions we also have a patreon page so if you want to show your support for the show see your name up in lights on these videos or or enjoy exclusive bonus content then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click on the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in full force